Hi guys, welcome to the channel. My um, shaper has uh, not been used in anger yet. Uh, you've seen the previous videos, I hope, where um, I overhauled the shaper. Uh, it was a, a rusty hulk in a shed, and uh, we now have it um, to a point where it's usable. And the first project is to build some tool holders for my lathe. Uh, these tool holders are called uh, Spanish style I believe and I think this is the one size up from the smallest. Um, it's reasonably complex in that there are several tape, uh, or beveled or tapered surfaces, uh, a reasonable amount of machining but they're uh, poisonously expensive and I don't really, well, you, you never have enough of them. So um, I've decided to uh, make some, I've got, some, I've got a piece of bar um, which has been flame cut out of a out of a sheet, and we're going to uh, make. I think I can probably get about five um, in a row uh, on the shaper, and uh, so we'll start off by hogging this this um, area here out, and then we'll cut the tapers, and uh, hopefully it will all go well. It's obviously going to be a reasonably long task. Um, I have measured it up very, measured one of these up very carefully on the surface plate with a uh, with a dial gauge, and I've done a drawing. Okay, we've done a drawing. Hopefully, you can see that this uh, drawing is the the uh, the tool end on. So uh, my zero is is the flat surface, this top surface here and also one end so the other zero in the other direction is this surface here and so we and we're in thousandth of an inch <laughs> somebody uh, made the comment hey you guys uh, most of the world still works in uh, in thousandths so uh, with and and this shaper is in, in uh, thousandths and, and i'm comfortable with thousandths uh, i'm old enough unfortunately to uh, have the benefit of being brought up uh, in my early school days in uh, inches and feet um, and then uh, the rest of my life was in millimetres so I'm reasonably comfortable with both. So zero, zero thou, 595 thou there up to uh, 2.9 inches here uh, all in thousandths, no, no sixteenths or sixty-fourths or thirty seconds so I draw the line there and uh, this is zero in this direction, so that's 200 uh, thousandths deep there. And the bottom of that groove is uh, 324, for example. So, um, and we did that measurement on a surface plate, so I'll, I'll uh, show you that briefly. Okay, so just briefly um, how we measured the, uh, did the measurements for our drawing. Um, this is a homemade uh, uh, homemade depth gauge from a cheap Chinese uh, pair of calipers works reasonably well the only problem being that uh, if you turn the battery off and then move it it turns back on again which um, some clever software writer thought was um, useful but in fact it's a blasted nuisance because um, if you turn it off and then when you're putting it away you bump it uh, it turns back on again and when you come back a month later the battery's flat so uh, whereas my Michitoya doesn't do that other than that uh, it works well so we simply use this to um, to arrive at all of the all of the dimensions on our drawing um, and you'll notice that I've got it set to read in thousandths. So uh, there it is. So those all those dimensions were transcribed to the um, to the drawing, and in this in this direction, that was my zero. And those were so 460 should appear in my drawing somewhere. Um, and likewise, the uh, 
the depth of this slot here. Uh, there are no dimensions on my drawing for the length of these tapered surfaces because they are all 45 degrees. So I figured that if I started off in the right position and my angle was correct, then uh, I wouldn't need to measure the length. And um, uh, in hindsight, that did that did work out quite well. I didn't um, measure the settings on the shaper. The shaper is quite nicely marked with the angle of the um, of the compound, and I assumed that when they built this back in 1945 or whenever it was, they got it right. Uh, so I didn't um, I didn't go about checking uh, those graduations. I took them uh, at face value, and again, uh, that worked out quite well. All right, so let's. Um, Go back to the beginning and uh, and get started.